Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to talk about the Tortured Soul Trilogy by Michael Johnson. So, big shout out to my buddy William. He sells me movies from time to time. He tends to buy a lot, and then he sells them for, you know, a discounted rate and contacts me. He sold me this and Flesh Merchant, which I enjoy, and his cat knocked them off the shelf and broke them, so he felt bad, so he wasn't going to send me, like, broken, shitty cases, so he reordered them for me and refunded me. So, really, really nice guy, and I, I thoroughly appreciate that. Tortured Soul Trilogy is a trilogy put out by Saturn's Core, who is one of my favorite labels under the um, Vinegar Syndrome Partner label. And this is a shot-on-video uh, trilogy, obviously, that does not look great because it's shot on video and, and transferred over. Um, blurry, out of focus, grainy, whatever other stuff you're used to with shot on video, it's all here. It is a very gritty, homemade film. All of them are. Um, and they started coming out in 1992, then the sequel was 94, and then the third one was 2004. The first film is 52 minutes. The second one is 79 minutes, and that includes a, like, 14 or 15 minute recap of the first movie, which is very annoying. And then the last one is 73 minutes, which also includes a partial recap. So I, I wish they didn't include the recaps. That's really annoying uh, for the second and third film and drastically brings down the review score for me. But the movie is about these two kind of low lives. Uh, I think it's Steve and Ike, and... They're murdering people in this little Minnesota town, kind of grungy, white trash sort of area. And this main character, Mike, who is Michael Johnson, the creator of the film, his sister gets murdered, I think his girlfriend gets murdered, and he flips out and he goes after them. And the first film is him taking his revenge on Steve and Ike. And it's gritty, it's cheesy, the, the acting is pretty bad, there's gore and violence but it's over the top and and the special effects are poor it's got that charm to it kind of like burglar from hell or whatever other shot on video movie that someone's made scary tales that you know you like that people have at a labor as a labor of love released um there's pornography mixed in so at the beginning of the film like the first five minutes two women get naked instantly and you see everything everything She's touching herself, and you see it all. It's not edited or cut away or anything. And there's a lot of that throughout these three films, where it's just random bits of nudity and extreme sexual content, and then it goes back to the story. I mean, those women usually get murdered, but it's just funny that they made them, like, really go over the top in terms of getting naked. Um, so that's the first movie. The second movie is um, Mike is going after one of the brothers again, who is the murderer. And the third one is, they think one of the brothers is still alive. Mike is starting to flip out and try and figure out where that murderer is and what's going on. And there's a twist to the movie. Um, and then there's like another twist, sort of. So the third one, I would say, which was surprising, isn't as straightforward as the first two and has interesting stuff going on. So if you like the series, <laughs> um, Tortured Soul, the third one... I thought was the most ambitious and had the most interesting kind of concept. The first and second are very straightforward. Um, again, very slimy and gritty feeling and just have, and all three of them just have a, a decent amount of nudity, especially one and three. Three has a lot of straight up pornography women by themselves. It's, it's, I was actually surprised at how dirty it was. Um, Maybe something like a Scooter McRae type of level of pornography, um, or, or a little more intense in some instances. So, did I love this series of movies? No. It's a shot on video, homemade set of movies that some guy probably filmed really cheap with his, like, friends. Um, again, over the top, grotesque in areas, fairly interesting. I really wish the second and third films weren't as long. And didn't show the main plot points of the first film. It's just way too long. There's 15 minutes of a recap on each film. And that's just way too much. It's like Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. 
they could have briefly explained it or they could have showed you like some kind of quick two minute, three minute clip of maybe pieces of it. But instead they try to show you the whole thing and it just bogs down the films. So I would recommend it to shot on video fans who like rural kind of Minnesota, or not, not rural, but Minnesota, you know, um, regional films. It's not something I'd recommend to most people. And with it being so low quality, you have to know what you're getting into. So if you like shot on video, if you like some of the other films I've named here, you'll probably like it. But it's not towards the top of my list in terms of shot on video films. It's a nice package. Has a ton of special features. Short films. Um, comes with this nice little booklet with all information. And it's two discs. So the first and second movie are on disc one. And then the third movie is on disc two with the special features. So they did a nice job and they added a lot of stuff to this. Just not going to be everyone's bag. Let me know guys if you've seen the Tortured Soul trilogy. I haven't heard anyone... Besides a couple of websites talking about this, so I was very interested. Thank you guys for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.